Here's the plate I've made for this print out of a piece of mount board or map board. You can cut away just the top layer of a piece of mount board just by cutting very carefully down into the top layer and then you can peel it away like this and you're left with a textured area which will take up a lot of ink, it's quite soft and the smooth top surface which you can wipe ink away from. Once the image has been carved into the mount board then it's varnished front and back with several coats of shellac which is why it's now got this yellowy colour. On this plate you can see that I've cut away and peeled back the board just around the outline of the puppy and also cut away his eyes and a little bit on his nose. But apart from that there's no other detail on this plate. All the image and all the shading and texture and fur and whiskers comes from how the ink is wiped on and then wiped away again. These are the tools I'm going to be using. To put on the ink I'll be using a roller and these handy rubber tip tools called colour shapers. Then I'll be wiping away the ink with just some torn up pieces of an old shirt and this printmaker's scrim which is quite a coarse material. And then to make finer details and small marks I'll be using the, these cotton wool buds, some cocktail sticks, and an old oil painting brush, a stiff hog hair brush, is quite useful for creating so very soft texture and softening up the lines and marks that I've made with the cocktail sticks and the cotton buds. I'm using two colours of ink, mostly a dark chestnutty brown, but with some little bits of black around the eyes and nose. So I'm putting the black on first, using one of those rubber colour shapers, just to make sure it's pushed right into the cut-out parts there. And a little bit on the claws. And before I roll on the chestnutty brown colour, I'm going to use a bigger colour shaper to push some of the ink round the edges of the cutout area. That's because when I roll the ink over, those little the, the bits around the edge where it dips down will get missed by the roller, and you'd end up with white, uninked parts. So that's the ink on, now it's time for all the wiping off.